violins. This is for Big Rock Candy Mountain, number 163, on page 39 of Essential Elements. So Big Rock Candy Mountain's got it all. It's got notes on the E string. It's got pickup eighth notes, okay? It's got low twos, which we've really been working to practice. It's got a first ending, and it's got a second ending. So we've got a lot to break down before we can actually play this, okay? Um, so let's just work on shadow bowing up to the first um, ending, okay? So you're starting on first finger, F sharp on the E string, and you're going to have one, two, again, low two, okay? So if I were to count you off for those pickups, you'd have one, two, three, one, two, and that one, two is for the fingers, okay? Or F, G, then you're going to an A, three fingers on E, right? Three, three, two, one, two, three, three, two, one, two, three, three, zero, two, one, three on the A string. And then these the last two eighth notes are the same as the pickups that you just played. F, G, one, two, and then you go right to that next repeat sign. So you don't play the pickups again, okay? Since you just played the F, G in the first ending. So you might want to shadow bow and sing this one at home or say the notes out loud, maybe write in a couple of fingerings. Don't write in every single finger number because you want to get used to memorizing these notes on E string because you're going to see them a lot the more that you play, okay? So you have some repeated melodic stuff here as well, especially that F, G, A, A, G, F, G, A, A, G. That's going to come up a lot, okay? So let's um, try to play that together or you can listen to me. So we have one, two, three. Back to E string, one, two, three. And if you notice, when I played, I kept my first finger down on the E string, so I did a tunnel. So that all I had to do is bring my third finger up to stay on E string. Otherwise, if I do this, I have to jump my fingers around every time, and that's excess energy that we don't need to use, okay? Good. Once we go back to the beginning, we're gonna hop over the first ending to the second ending, which has F, D, but then we just go back to F, F, so no F, G, we stay on the same note, okay? So let's play from the beginning, without the pickups, to the second ending, okay? So let's try that. So we're starting on A, three fingers. One, two, ready, and three, three, two, one, two, three, three, two, one, two, three, three, zero, two, second ending, one, Three, back to one, one, one. Okay, now we can shadow bow this next part if you want to, starting on open E, two, ready, and zero, one, two, zero, one, two, three. Notice all my twos are low, yeah? Three, one, zero, one, two, zero, one, three. Okay. So that's probably a good uh, spot to stop at right now and see if we can play that together. So I'm starting the measure after the second ending on open E. Ready, here we go. E, F, G, E, F, G, A, F, E, F, G, E, F, A. Then we have that, that same thing I said where it's going to repeat multiple times. F, G, A, A, G. This is a bit different. Three, two, one, zero, three, 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 three. Okay, so. Okay, so all together I'm gonna play for you Big Rock Candy Mountain. So it gives you a good chance to watch either my fingers or at least listen to the rhythm and see how that roadmap goes. Here we go. One, two, three. One, zero, three, 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 three. 
So that should keep you busy probably for the full week, if not two weeks, to really work that one out. Um, the next thing that we'll learn is let's read B. So I'll make a separate video for 164 and 165, okay? So you can look for those. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, good luck.